Hey name tags, this is Ash from Heal My PC. I've got with me a guest today. His name is Maher, he's 14 and he's brought with him a list of parts because he wants to build his first gaming PC. Maher, why do you want to build a gaming PC instead of gaming on the console? Mainly because I, I don't have space, but yeah, I still want to game and use a PC for different purposes. Along with not having space, my parents currently don't have the money to actually pay for both of them. So for the past three years, instead of eating lunch, the money given to me was used to save up so then I could have enough money to buy parts to build a PC. Currently, I have £750. Wow, that's brilliant. I mean, such dedication for people your age. That's really good. So, Maher, I'm going to try my best to go through each of the parts that you've selected on your list for £750 and it excludes monitor and peripherals right now, but it includes an OS. And uh, while I go through it, I'll give you guys tips of where to find the best value for money and how you can save some money and also to get the best price to performance ratio. Stay tuned. So let's have a look at his selection so far on ukpcpartbeater.com and uh, the PC is going to use mainly for his gaming, not extensive gaming he tells me and also he wants to do some light video and photo editing in the future. Right, um, first processor choice is the AMD FX 8370 which is an 8 core motherboard he went with the MSI 970A SLI crate edition and if you look at the color scheme you will see that he wanted a kind of a neutral black and white so that in the future he probably will change some of the components well, we'll talk about that later for the RAM he went with the two sticks of 4 gigabyte DDR3-1600 memory from HyperX main OS is going to be on a NSSD OCZ Trion 120 gigabyte Main storage is going to be a 2TB hard drive from Seagate Barracuda. For the graphics card, he's gone with the MSI Radeon R7 370 2GB. So for the case, he chose the Zalman Z1 Neo ATX mid-tower case. For the power supply, EVGA 500W 80 plus bronze. And for the OS, he's allowed himself about £80 for the brand new Microsoft Windows 10 Home Edition 64-bit. Problem with connection in his room he needs Wi-Fi or he thinks he needs or wants Wi-Fi and he's chosen a PCI Wi-Fi card about 25 pounds and for my, my apologies he does want to include peripherals at least just a mouse and keyboard combo and he's gone with the Cooler Master CM Storm Devastator gaming bundle about 25 pounds or sorry about 30 pounds for now okay so his total comes up to about 746 pounds and 44 pence so just under his 750 budget obviously i'm going to go through this whole system and advice and uh, try to save him and you guys some money now what i need to tell you is this is what i would do this is not a personal recommendation for each of the components i'm going to choose but this is just to show you the method that i went through to buy my own system after few years of uh, research and experience of building PCs okay first let's go to the updated and revised list that I made for him and uh, I brought it down to 656 pounds so he still just got about under 100 pounds left to play with and I've kept more or less the same or very similar components but I actually made it better However, there's a couple of caveats and let's go through this. So the first thing is I recommended for him the FX8350 because he's going to be doing gaming and he's going to be doing light editing. First, AMD is the best choice. If you're going to be budget conscious and if you have limited money to spend, you cannot beat AMD at this price point. So what going with the AMD is brilliant. The next thing is he wanted to do the FX8370 and uh, the 8370 and the 8350 as far as games is concerned there is no difference in your game performance and uh, going with the 8350 you already can save about 40 pounds over 40 pounds because that was costing him 177 pounds now this one from Amazon Prime is 135 pounds so that's one saving he could if he chooses to get a brand new one but I'm going to advise one thing further and that's how I got my 8350 and uh, I'm not going to specifically tell you guys to shop from Amazon I'm not getting a kickback for it not just yet anyway I need to set this up what I'm going to say to you you can go through one of your favorite retailers like uh, I use eBuyer, uh, CCL, uh, Overclockers, Scan, Aria etc and all of them have got some sort of deals going on but 
we're going to use Amazon mainly today because what you can see down here uh, up here that's the prime um, brand new price 135 pounds but if you go down here what it says 66 used and new from 90 pounds let's open a tab for that and as you can see you have a few options from other merchants for the same product but you got some conditions some of them are new some of them are used and good or used like new now my personal preference and you may or may not follow the same advice I would choose the 115 pounds 92 from which is on prime from Amazon and fulfilled by Amazon now guys Amazon's customer service is really good I've never had an issue I got my um, AMD FX 8350 I think for about 110 pounds uh, used but it was fulfilled by Amazon the reason I'm saying this is you don't want to go to eBay for this stuff you want to go to a retailer which has a very good return policy and uh, if you get the chip you bring it obviously I would recommend you buy all your parts together so once you get the processor you put it in and you do your build and straight away you test it if there's an issue with it obviously if there's a physical damage issue you return it straight away but if you do some stress test for the CPU and you find that it's passed all your tests keep it if not then you can return it straight away and that should save you some money so my advice would be to go with the used which is fulfilled by Amazon or like I said you could use one of your other retailers but this is what I would do if I had to build this right now so that again saves you a few more bucks so 135 to 115 that's another 20 pounds so straight away for his processor we've saved him 60 pounds already and that's brilliant or just under 60 pounds excuse my math right now so this is the method I'm going to use for almost all of them probably from uh, eBay, uh, Amazon or maybe a couple of other sites but I, I hope you guys understand so just go down to this use and new from other merchants you don't always have to buy the first thing that comes up okay but again that's something you need to decide right let's move along for the motherboard I've kept the same motherboard he wants the black and white accent and again same principle his initial one was 73 pounds 74 and I brought it down to 67 pounds 33 again on prime from Amazon fulfilled again any issue with it you send it back now next for the RAM my personal advice in this case today if you want to get any RAM go for one gigabyte sorry one stick of a eight gigabyte although he has got four slots on his motherboard but you want to think in terms of nowadays gaming I would say personally that eight gigabyte is not a sweet spot anymore it's actually becoming a minimum because games are getting bigger and bigger and you may want to be multitasking in the first place so once again on Amazon I found him a deal for one stick of 8 gigabyte memory at about 24 pounds 50 which is brilliant now for the SSD I didn't do much change except I went from the OCZ to the SanDisk at about 35 pounds 99 and the main storage Seagate uh, 2 terabyte was kept the same there's not much change you could do for that Moving along, what else we got? We got now for the video card, the R7 370 he picked at 2 gigabyte of video memory was really poor for this configuration. So I gave him an upgrade of R9 380 4 gigabyte from Nitro Dual X. The good thing about that was that I found it for about £167.80 from CCL. The bad news was that today it's out of stock. He could have bought it. However, we can do better. You can also choose the R9380X 4GB Double Dissipation Black Edition from XFX and I think it retails for about £178 from Amazon or you could maybe get it slightly cheaper if you want a used but good one. Again, fulfilled by Amazon at £160.22 but I've left it at the price of £167 for now. He can play with it. You could also go much higher like the R9390. You could go with the RX3480 or you could also consider from the Nvidia side. The choice is yours. Remember that the better the graphics card, the better your performance is going to be. Okay, now moving along. What else we got? We got the power supply from the EVGA 500 watt initially I did swap it to the 500 watt from Corsair which was for 42 pounds 99 pence I'm trying to look for it yeah but here I would advise that you try and consider getting a semi-modular for just five pounds more or even going higher 
um, because you might want to cater for overclocking and for any additional uh, graphics card maybe in crossfire or anything else you may want to put the 500 watt would do fine for now but I would advise to go at least 600 watt you could could be at 600 watt for fixed cable and that's only going to be and there's some quite good deals as well so you could good again a uh, from Amazon 45 pounds uh, 600 watt um, fixed cables but semi modular might be better choice in terms of cable management and better airflow this is how I got my power supply mine is Corsair 750 watt semi modular from Amazon and I saved about 15 pounds brilliant right as for the Windows 10 I mean he just missed out on a free upgrade which was just under a month ago but when I checked, you could go with one of the genuine sellers or re resellers of license. And this one came with a 64-bit professional Windows 10 plus a USB ISO bootable disk. Now, it's ended, this listing. There are plenty others. You could try your luck. And since you're going to be paying with PayPal, you are kind of covered if there's anything uh, problematic i would also advise you browse the internet there are places there are websites which are selling genuine licenses and there are other ways to get these guys but going from 80 pounds for a license to 16 pounds 99 is a massive improvement and massive savings right in terms of internet connection he was going to go with a wi-fi card which none of the gamers out there are going to be advising is terrible because in terms of connection and speed problems so the better thing that I did for him was to get him a power line adapter from TP link and this is retailing at 25 pounds you can find elsewhere but for the same price you can use this which will be plugged into one end on the main socket for the electricity the other end into his PC or he could use maybe couple of articles for you will leave in the description below and old Wi-Fi router which could be turned into an access point I've done that for mine I've got um, or you could buy a switch for example as well like um, any of these switches which is quite cheap for about five pounds you plug one end into one of the ports and then you, there you go about you get a, f a minimum of four extra uh, hardwire connections but obviously you may want to go slightly higher with a Wi-Fi one an all router turning into an extension would be a great idea and a great money saver okay and as for the keyboard left it as the CM Storm Devastator gaming bundle from Cooler Master which is quite decent you could even consider at this price point you may want to consider mechanical if you wanted to hey would you look at that there's even money left for an aftermarket cooler and I went with the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo at $29.99 from Amazon once again I mean there's a few other options you could do better cooling and less noise now total uh, that he chose came about 746 pounds and 44 pence and the one I chose came to about 656 pounds leaves him plenty of room to consider other features so there you have it guys this was my build guide into how to find the better components for lower the price so it gives you a lot of room to play now remember I'm not saying that these are the exact components you should be getting but I'm saying that this is the research method that I would use to be able to find myself better parts for cheaper and of course, not everyone wants to get used parts. That's against a personal choice of yours. I would go with that. And I'm quite happy with it. But again, never buy from, I wouldn't advise Craigslist or Gumtree because you want to be protected by some sort of warranty return period. And uh, one of the major retailers with a good warranty service and return policy would be the way to go. Like Amazon, like eBuyer, like uh, CCL, etc. Okay, one more thing you could do, my hair. You've waited for three years. You could always wait for three more months because you're going to have a Black Friday coming up and you're going to get some sweet deals. You may not get the exact components, but if you give yourself a few alternate choice, uh, maybe not for the CPU necessary, but maybe then again, who knows, then you pick up whatever you can on Black Friday sales. But remember, don't get some things now and get some things later. You might you want to get everything together so that when you set up the system you can test everything if there's any problem you can return them so what do you think did i make a mistake are there any improvements that you guys would suggest to make this better or cheaper or both let me know in the comment section below and i'm going to leave you with a quip of the day i think it was said by winston churchill that the only time that my education was interrupted was when i was at school ha thank you for watching remember to subscribe and until next time peace out